Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today is our fifth class, I think, and today we will be doing a different stroke. I hope you are practicing and following my videos. And uh, in this today's tutorial, we will be doing a shell stroke. So I am using um, Focart 3x4 flat brush and I am using the same school bus, uh, school bus yellow and magenta. I have picked my color on the brush and I am loading the brush this way. If you feel that your brush is very dry, you can always take a little bit of water on your brush. Just a tiny bit of water. And as I said in my first video, never start with a dry brush. Always put your brush in water and just remove the excess water. And keep your brush moist enough before starting to do your brush okay so I think the brush is loaded now okay for shell stroke what we will be doing is again I will be showing you with a V I'll place my brush down I'll give a gentle pressure on my brush a gentle pressure not pressing it a lot why we do this is because we have loaded our brush and we want all our color which is inside the bristles to come on the page or the work surface so if you don't press your brush well what will happen is that you won't get these strokes properly now I am wiggling my brush this way and at the same time, I am moving towards the opposite direction. One more time. You just take a little bit of water and color on your brush. And don't take too much water as I said before that if you take too much water your color will turn transparent so it won't work I'll show you one more time press gently see always keep your brush in an angle press gently make your strokes go up a little bit then come down and you finish your strokes now if you see it's like a shell there's a reason it's called as shell stroke so you have to keep practicing this for a while I'll show you one more time and then we will go for a flower start it with an angle maybe initially you can keep this kind of guidelines why move up then come So now I will make a flower using this shell stroke. This will be our center petal. 
Okay. If you feel uh, that it's not to the mark, you can always go again and change the shape of your petal from down, moving up and coming down. Okay. Then I will make this petal going up and coming down. Slightly I will turn my page and the side will go up and come down. Now we are doing the same strokes from all the direction, moving up and come down, then one more going up and come down. See you did roughly the same stroke, shell stroke, but you are doing this from all the directions. So. If you feel like the shape of my petals are not as I expected, don't think that your flower is ruined. You just can go and work your brush again on that particular petal and you can correct it. This way. So you made petals this is very basic simple flower don't worry about the shape don't worry about the other factors of the flower it you won't be able to get that mature look but you are just concentrating on the strokes to get the strokes right is what I'm looking for here now so just practice the stroke and make this basic flower so in the next class we will be doing a tiny composition where we will be making a few flowers and leaves on the stroke so see you soon bye